briefly, let's. You did the. I want to talk about the, that Casey Neistat bump real quick because yeah. that that shit went weird after mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that was what two years it's ago. The beginning. I think it was exactly two years ago. Mm-hmm. So it was February of 2016. Yeah. So you made a hilarious mm-hmm. video, kind of uh, um, doing your version of a Casey Casey Neistat mm-hmm. vlog, and then he ended up shouting it out and, yeah. and calling you out. Um, you went from a place of a couple thousand subscribers mm-hmm. on YouTube to like close to a hundred thousand. Yeah. So I had a little under 4,000 subscribers and I was actually releasing my second season of creative spaces TV, which, you know, is the docu-series that I did. And with, every, it's actually funny because the first season of creative spaces TV, I kind of used Casey too, but he was just starting vlogging and I think he had just hit a million subscribers and mail time was something that he was doing like every single week without fail. So I actually went and bought like some really nice moleskin notebooks and I sent it to him like three months before I had even uh, released Creative Space TV. And so I was slated to release the first episode ever of Creative Space TV on my birthday, August 11th. And it just so happens, it's crazy, on August 11th, the video that Casey posted was a mail time where he opened up my package and he showed my letter and like on the, like you can go and find this. I think it's a vlog titled free stuff or something that it's one of, you know, the first year of him vlogging and he showed my letter where I was like, Oh, you inspire me. Creative space TV, youtube.com slash Sarah And I actually got like 200 subscribers from that. So that was actually my first Casey shout out. And that that was, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. And that's when I had like 500 subscribers. Dude, like you're probably just checking every minute. I know. I know. And so I was like, oh, Casey said my name. Oh my gosh. There's notebooks. Yes. And so about almost a year later, I was releasing another season of Creative Spaces TV and I was like, what can I do to like try to get some new eyes on this? So I was like, let's try to milk Casey for his audience again. Because yeah. <laughs> like, of course, I'm such a big fan of him and yeah. everything he's done. And I'll be that annoying person that's like, I was there since the start. I was right. a subscriber when he only had like 100,000 subscribers. Um, and so I've always been a big fan of him. But his filmmaking technique is so unique. And there's so many things that you can copy and kind of make fun of and Mm. you know and no one had really done like you know a video it's like a parody, like a parody. Yeah. exactly and you know i was making i've high school was just so many music video parodies so i was like this will be easy this will be fun yeah so i made it and at the very it's like a three minute video me kind of mocking his filmmaking style but at the end i was like casey is such a big fan of you blah, blah blah and i was like at that time i had probably 3500 subscribers and I knew this video was going to get at least like 500 to 600 views. So I'm like, mm-hmm. if every single person at the end of this video tweets him, like hashtag how to Casey in a link, he has to see this. So at the did end, you, did you add that in the video? Yeah. Oh, so okay. at the end, I was like, okay, guys, let's really get Casey to see this. And I was like, tweet him how to Casey in the link of the video. And um, he saw it. And it's funny. I was actually on a video job. Like, oh, it was so boring. It was... <laughs> filming an interview at like the bible bee it Mm. literally was a game show on like bible trivia and i was hired to film interviews of like the hosts and stuff so here i am like two cameras set up and it's the next day and i got a notification of casey neistat just commenting wow on the video i was like oh my gosh what does this mean and it's still like at 500 views or something that it's such a not a comment that you (laughs) do he's like is that wow like wow I know, Real nice. I know, I know. And I was like, what does this mean? And so, right, so this was the next day, and he commented right before he released this video. And so he ended up releasing a video that almost, you know, a third of the video is just shouting out my channel and basically being, oh, this is such a funny video, but she actually has this backlog of great content. She's what's right with YouTube. And so here I am, like, in a corner at this freaking, like, Bible Bee, And I'm just like watching this video of him just shouting out my channel and like basically my hero saying Mm. all these nice things about me. I basically got, yeah, I went from like 4,000 subscribers to 40,000 in one day. I I actually delayed posting it and I almost didn't post it because I didn't like the way I looked in it. Like no, the first shot, like the lighting was really weird in my apartment. 
and it was just casting the gnarliest shadow on myself. I was like, oh, I don't look good. And I almost didn't post it. And I was just like, you know, just post it. You spend a lot of time on it, just post it. And it changed my life. And there's been a lot of times when I've doubted myself when that big breakthrough was like just around the corner.